Rice Gum and KSI. A couple of boys they used to be homies, now no longer friends. I said I loved you, but you let go. There's talks of diss tracks coming out. Rice Gum says he's a better rapper than KSI. KSI has deleted their song together off the face of YouTube. A lot of stuff has been going down lately. And you know on this channel we like to cut things open, pick them apart, and understand what makes everything tick. So today we're gonna take a look at the beef between these two YouTubers, not just how we got here, but also what it means beyond just the surface level. And we're gonna start it all off with... Sorry, do you mind? We're in the middle of a video here. <laughs> What are you even doing? <laughs> Whoa! I can't believe this! You're playing Raid Shadow Legends, the most epic mobile RPG game that's out right now? Look at that! It looks like all the games I've played in my childhood, back when computers used to look like this. <laughs> So you're telling me that I can play Raid Shadow Legends for free and get daily rewards just for logging in? NANI? So basically you can summon champions from the portal by using mystery shards, right? <laughs> you get these champions, you level them up by following the campaign, or you can level them up in the tavern by sacrificing lesser champions. Sorry my dude, uh, your services are no longer required. So what's happening here? It looks like a lot of stuff is going down. <laughs> okay, they've got tournaments where you earn points based on your rank and then you get a bunch of cool rewards, like the brand new arena tournament that's out right now as we're speaking. And oh wow, Wilfer, it looks like you're in second place. So this is what you've been doing on your phone the entire time while I've been animating my butt off? There's just one guy beating you right now. This guy, Grim King 21 I don't know who you are, Grim King 21 but just know that we're coming for you. Well, I guess I gotta get the game for myself now, and you can get Raid Shadow Legends and try it out for yourself at the link below, on mobile and PC because the game is cross-device. What? It's free to play, and if you use our custom link below, you get 100,000 in-game silver to get you started, two clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards to summon a bunch of champions, and a free rare champion, the Adjudicator. You'll find all your extra rewards up here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. So a big thank you goes to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to our story. <laughs> To start everything off, we have to first establish our characters. Rice Gum used to be huge on YouTube. I mean, at his peak, he was cracking 10 million views per upload like it was nothing. He came up in 2016 by pretty much bullying children, which to be honest was a pretty common theme back then. But one of his biggest achievements was popularizing diss tracks as a new form of content on YouTube. Seeing how his channel went from 0 to 5 million subscribers within a year, when Rice Gum wasn't invited to participate in YouTube Rewind 2016, he proceeded to throw a huge tantrum. And I felt like I should have had at least one set, because I mean, everyone, they had so many people and they all had like two second clips. They couldn't spare me one second. It really doesn't even mean that much. It's just the video, but it's like, it's more for the fans, you know what I mean? And it just sucks. I'm pretty sure you guys seen the video and you were you know, looking at like, where's Rice Gum? And it's like, I'm not in it, you know what I mean? So I just feel bad because I, I couldn't even be in a, you know, a rewind video for you guys, man. You gotta appreciate how this dude puts a selfless spin on his salty attitude. Like, oh, I don't care that I wasn't in YouTube Rewind, but like, I'm just sad for you guys because it would have made your day so much better to see me there. And in response, a British YouTuber named Ethan Payne, aka Bazinga, tweeted out, Rice gum is a shit. Why am I not in YouTube Rewind? I started a shitty diss track trend. Notice the people that grinded, please. YouTube. Which, of course, displeased Rice Gum. Now, Bazinga is important in this whole equation because he's one of the founding members of the group called the Sidemen, along with Zerka, Mini Minter, Tope Jizzle, and KSI. So Rice Gum has this beef with Ethan slash Bazinga, drops a diss track on him, and then things proceed to kind of die down for several months. That is, until KSI jumps in the mix. <laughs> By now you probably know quite a bit about KSI. We've talked about him in previous videos. Biggest YouTuber in the UK, pioneer in YouTube boxing after defeating Joe Weller and Logan Paul, currently having a very interesting surge in the music industry, continuing to push boundaries and redefining what it means to be a YouTuber. But for the purpose of this video we have to look back at the 2017 KSI before a lot of this had even happened. Around that time as a founding member of the Sidemen, he was just starting to feel like going off on his own. I. I'm no longer with the uh, Sidemen. 
According to a later video from KSI, this announcement was half meme, half truth. But while his friendship with Bazinga hadn't actually ended behind the scenes, it looks like KSI really did want to forge his own path. He flew to Los Angeles temporarily living in the cloud house with rice gum of all people. And by his own admission, he had all the intentions of making the move to Los Angeles permanent. I wanted to switch things up. I had some discussions with Rice and Banks and you know, I was actually really interested in joining Cloud Gang. Like I know a lot of people have told me if I want to really further my career, a good way to do that is to live in America, live in LA especially. So like this was a serious debate in my head, like no joke. So right now we have Rice Gum beefing with a member of the Sidemen and KSI leaving the Sidemen and moving in with Rice Gum. And uh, you'd better hold your horses because it's about to get really confusing up in here. <laughs> 2017 marked a very important chapter in time for the UK YouTube scene. To this day, a lot of people think back to the events that unfolded, thinking, what the f happened back there? Seeing how KSI had left the Sidemen and moved in with the enemy, Bazinga dropped a diss track on him and Ricegum titled Drama. Two days later, KSI's brother Deji jumps in the mix with a diss track targeting the entire Sidemen group for whatever reason. The very same day, Mini Minter of the Sidemen responds back with a diss track on Deji. Two days later, in an already heated environment, KSI teams up with Ricegum and responds to Bazinga with their own diss track titled Earthquake, which gains tens of millions of views. And uh, remember this one because we're gonna get back to it later on. Meanwhile, Sidemen member Rodashaw fires at KSI with a brutal diss track titled KSI Sucks, which again garners over 50 million views. KSI responds with Little Boy the very next day. Then another Sidemen member named Vicstar disses Deji with a diss track titled The End. Then Ethan doubles down on KSI and Rice come with yet another diss track titled Finished, which makes several references to KSI showering with Deji? What? <laughs> Deji makes another diss track on Mini Minter called Ungrateful. Rodashaw drops another diss track titled KSI Exposed, and KSI finishes it all off with a track called Two Birds, One Stone, targeting Rodashaw and Joe Weller, who had just challenged him to a boxing match for the first time. During this entire time, seeing how all of these guys were getting millions over millions of views, many other channels followed followed suit and tried to get in the mix. But to simplify an already complicated picture, these are pretty much the only ones that more or less mattered. <laughs> There's been huge speculation as to whether the Sidemen war was legitimate or if it had all been a ploy previously agreed upon. To this day, it's unclear how much of it was real and how much of it was fake, but it's obvious that there was some planning involved. During a podcast posted just a month before everything heated up, one of the Sidemen talks very openly about the idea of starting a fake beef for views. The way YouTube now works is, if you create view loops, if you create this whole story between you where I have to loop from Jake Paul's channel to Logan Paul's channel to Jake Paul's channel to Logan Paul's channel, eventually the way the algorithm's gonna work is you're gonna be suggested together. And you, oh, have to, you, you have to exactly follow this story. How it works. Yeah, and you have to follow the story and watch both sides in order for, yeah. for people to actually be interested in it and to follow the story. And therefore both channels booming and you're pushing two networks, the Jake Paulers and the Low Gang. You're putting two audiences like bang. It's yeah. like saying, imagine if Sidemen went, right, you know what? FaZe Clan, right? FaZe Clan. And, we, and they're like, should have done this, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Phase? <laughs> like about a year ago. Yeah. yeah. It comes so easy. I think we should have strategized the whole beef between all of us. Like, there should have been a sidemen beef. Yeah. That's the whole thing. We're, 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 not, we're not smart, we're not smart enough. No, no, we are. <laughs> no, we're not smart enough. We fully bro. are. We're not smart no, enough. No, because we, we've said these things loads. But it's just, we just like... Yeah. The concept of view loops is something we've seen many times since then. Whether that was Logan and Jake Paul in 2017, the Sidemen beef itself, even KSI versus Logan Paul, all those press conferences operated exactly on that foundation. By creating a storyline that transcends the bounds of any particular YouTube channel, getting audiences riled up and personally involved in these types of creator rivalries has proven time and time again to be a winning strategy. Does this mean it's all fake? Well, it depends how you look at it. Look at it. Is wrestling fake? Those people are performers, there's an understanding that their back and forth is overplayed, but people still find entertainment in that type of dynamic. So with all of this in mind, we finally arrive at the present moment. Rice Gum versus KSI. <laughs> KSI 
Seeing how both Ricegum and KSI have been involved in a view loop dynamic before, why would it be any different today? Ricegum calls KSI petty for not allowing him to hang out with Logan Paul. KSI petty bro, he just possessive and clingy like why can't I have other friends? KSI responds by taking down their 2017 diss track on Bazinga. Again, I'll show you how much I don't give a f Okay, uh, I understand, to live forever. Okay, all right, that's done. All right, let's continue. Rice Gum milks the entire situation, threatening to make a video on KSI over and over again. Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I know you guys have been anticipating a KSI roast video. Listen, man, the only way to do that is like a savage roasting mindset, you know? But lately, I'm just happy, trying to spread love. So, next video, KSI, gosh. And they both have a surge in views more consistent than ever before. So, is the Rice Gum versus KSI beef all fake? Possibly, but just like wrestling, as long as they provide entertainment and keep their audiences engaged, does it matter? I'm genuinely wondering, does a YouTube beef have to be real? It's no secret that a lot of the times when two YouTubers have argued, especially in the realm of diss tracks, both of them came out the other side with more relevancy, more views, more Twitter followers, more clout in general. Now at the same time, I'm not discounting the possibility that KSI and Ricegum have genuinely had a falling out. It's also possible that KSI has had enough of Ricegum shenanigans and decided to cut him out of his business. After all, KSI doesn't need to be associated with rice gum at this point. It's just a little too convenient is what I'm saying. What do you think? Would you have less respect for rice gum and KSI knowing their beef is overplayed? And between the two of them, who do you support more, KSI or rice gum? Let me know in the comments along with your thoughts on anything we've discussed in this video. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you again very soon.